Hello and welcome to Watch This. I'm CJ Johnson. Thank you for joining me. It's kind of a dead season in cinemas around the world as we come into Easter, but luckily there is one film that's out right now, we're about to open, in your market that is definitely the first great movie of 2018. It is The Death of Stalin, and given the news that Putin just managed to get re-elected by the skin of his teeth. This film comes with impeccable timing. <laughs> Stalin's dead. He's dead. Stalin is dead! Oh my God. Our general secretary is lying in a puddle of indignity. Yeah, he's feeling unwell. Clearly. Armando Iannucci created three of the funniest television sitcoms of all time. I'm Alan Partridge, The Thick of It, and Veep, which has one season to go, but whose reins he has let go. He is a master political satirist and my favourite screenwriter. The Death of Stalin, his first feature film as a director, is, as befits his leap from the smaller to bigger screen, an ambitious effort. Iannucci boldly gives us a whale of a time with enormously witty dialogue, but also the very violent history of the political infighting that occurred in the days and weeks after Joseph Stalin's death in 1953. As is his wont, he has assembled the finest of ensembles, headed by Steve Buscemi in the performance his entire career has been leading to as, you know you've always wanted it, Nikita Khrushchev. British stage lion Simon Russell Beale portrays Stalin's chief of everything nasty and secret, police, security, torture, as head of the People's Commissariat for Internal Affairs, which was essentially the secret police, and Geoffrey Tambor's odd, kind of weepy-skinned, straight-backed, milk-toast presence is perfectly utilised here as Malenkov, Stalin's immediate successor, but hardly his equal. Rounding out the manic rogues gallery, conniving, conspiring, and relentlessly backstabbing each other are Paddy Considine, Rupert Friend, Michael Palin, Andrea Riseborough, who is my favourite actress at the moment, and in a gift for any actor and a perfect gift for this actor, Jason Isaacs as Minister of Defence, read tough soldier man, Grigory Zukov. Inucci allows his transatlantic company to all speak in their natural accents, reflecting the actual huge diversity of dialects that made up the Soviet Union. The tonal balance of humour and historical violent tragedy is an extremely delicate one, a high wire act, and Inucci's biggest artistic coup here is getting it right. A splatter more blood here, an additional joke there, and the whole thing could have felt misguided, sordid, even outrageously distasteful. As it is, it's something of a satirical masterpiece and a bloody good history lesson to boot. Banned in Russia, released on limited screens in some markets, it's a film that completely deserves your attendance at the cinema, preferably a well patronised one, to share laughs with your comrades. There are plenty to be had. That's The Death of Stalin. I highly recommend it. Prost. I really need your help. I'm going to have to report this conversation. Threatening to do harm or obstruct any member of the Presidium in the process of looking at your fucking face. <laughs> I talk Germany. I think I can take a flesh lump in a waistcoat.